Um, hey, Hunter. Um, so you had some really nice outlet passes tonight. Can you talk about your passing ability and how that's able to help you guys generate some opportunities and transition on fast breaks? Um, I think my passing ability has always been pretty well, um, pretty good. Um, that's something that Coach Howard uh, told me on his, um, his recruiting pitches, how he was going to use me in the offense, not only as a scorer, but a passer as well. And I think uh, that's, we, we really worked on that in practice and stuff like that, uh, making reads and stuff, especially in the press. Um, we did a really good job of game planning that, um, going through it in practice and just preparing for that press. So I was able to uh, see, see my um, offensive players out there. Brandon Green. Hey, Hunter, how did playing in the WCAC all throughout high school prepare you for a Big Ten competition? Playing in the WCAC, uh, you, you're playing against D1 talent every night. So um, uh, it's not really the same as playing in college. College is definitely different. Um, I had to learn that firsthand. But uh, playing in WCAC really prepared me because you're going against really good players every night. So you have to always be on your toes. You can't take anybody for granted. And that's very true in uh, definitely the Big Ten. Daniel Dash. Hey, Hunter, thanks for your time and happy birthday. Uh, Jawang called you a, a seasoned vet when he was talking to us a few minutes ago. Uh, how did you feel out there tonight mentally in your debut? Uh, it was super fun. Um, I was definitely a little nervous uh, just because it was my first game out there in, uh, as a college player. But um, like right when you get in the game, uh, it instantly goes away. You just get locked into uh, playing a bet. It's just a basketball game. And you're out there with four other guys who you've been playing with for months now. So it, it felt really uh, at home with me out there. Did you expect that? Or did you maybe think you were going to be a little bit nervous throughout the game? Uh, I mean, I've played in really big games, even on, even on ESPN. So uh, being, having it be on television um, wasn't really a big thing for me. Um, I think playing uh, Peach Jam and WCAC and playing on ESPN in high school really prepared me for this, uh, for like, big moments in my games, and I think I, I was ready for it. Connor Brennan. Yeah, Hunter, so after a few months of, you know, playing against your teammates, can you talk a little bit about what it was like to finally play against a different opponent? Uh, it was so fun. Uh, I think everybody mentioned that in the locker room. I mean, people, we've been waiting to play somebody else, especially for me, like having a freaking – bang into Austin every day, it's, it's, a big, uh, it's a big task. And so to be able to lay that punishment on somebody else was really fun for a change. Theo Mackey. Yeah, we, uh, we saw Sean D and Mike really come out and perform really well in their first games in Michigan today. I'm wondering how important it is to have them both for their on the floor contributions and you know, for their off the court leadership as seniors. Those guys are amazing. Uh, Mike and Sean D, being uh, grad transfers, um, they've seen it all. They've been able, they've been in so many battles uh, on the court with their other colleges that they've, nothing will really phase them. Uh, being on their team, me and the other freshmen really look up to them for guidance and leadership as well as Isaiah, Austin, Eli. Um, they're, they're just two leaders out there on the court that have been through a lot. So the, uh, me, uh, I, I can definitely learn a lot from them. So I always try to ask them questions and stuff like that. All right, last question, Zach Shaw. Hey, Hunter. Um, oh, sorry. Hey, Hunter, uh, what was your reaction to hearing that you would come off the bench? I'm not sure what your expectations were heading into the season. And then also, what's your mindset? Are you trying to win the starting job, or are you comfortable with that off-the-bench role? Uh, Coach, Coach Howard told me that he was going to start Austin, and I told him uh, that's perfectly fine with me. I mean, I trust him 100% with everything. Uh, me and him are see very eye-to-eye -eye on everything we have very good conversations. So there's nothing that like I don't know or I'm guessing on. Uh, there's everything transparent with us. So I um, I felt comfortable with it. Uh, I'm still working my way back. I had a couple of setbacks and so I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm just trying, at, um, right now I'm just trying to play as good as I can and make the most amount of my, most out of my minutes.